हेलो इज इट ऑडिबल हाँ Yes. Yes. Sir. Shall I start? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Now sir, consider a link number four. Why do you consider link number four here? Because that link number four subject to an action force. That force is known in magnitude and direction. That's why I take that link number four. And what is the nature of forces acting on link number four? At hinge C, F three four. At hinge D, F one four, and an external force F is acting. Now you can see that link number four is subjected to how many forces? It is three forces are acting here. Now I want to make that body is in equilibrium condition means remember that the equilibrium of a member subjected to three equally three forces. Now what is that? That there is no resultant force, and all the line of action of all the forces are meet at a point. Meet at a point, right? Now you can see that the force we know this F external applied force we know the magnitude and direction. If we just extend that the line of action of force, we extend that F. At the same time, we go for link number three. Link number three is subject to how many forces? It is subject to only two forces. One is at hinge B F two three at hinge C F four three. Now link number three subject to only two forces. Remember that when a body is subject to only two forces, 
how do you make it equilibrium those two force should be equal in magnitude opposite in nature but act along the same line of action means which act along same line of action means act along the link 3 right now at hinge 4 you can see that f23 is equal to f43 now f43 see that at hinge 3 yes at hinge c you can see that at link number 4 also hinge c is there right those two forces are same f43 is equal to f34 magnitude is same acting in opposite direction now I draw a line which is parallel to link 3 from hinge c in the link in the figure d draw a line which is parallel to link 3 okay. that shows what the line of action of f 4 Yes, Nishant BR, mute yourself. Nishant BR. Okay. Now draw a line from the hinge C draw a line which is parallel to link three. Okay. That shows the line of action of line of action. LOA stands for line of action. Of which force here? F43 that is equal to F34. We don't know the direction, whether it's upward or downward just you draw a line which is parallel to link 3 4 so link 3 now extend that line extend that a uh, line and extend this force external applied force those two line uh, line of action of external force line of action of f3 4 meet at a point that point you call as a wo from the point wo i draw a line that join the hinge d that shows the line of action of f13 now remember that when the link 4 is subject to how many forces? 3 forces. If it is an equilibrium, all these 3 forces should be meet at a point. That point you will call as a point of concurrency. Now we know the only the line of action of F34 and F14. Now F14, F34, the magnitude and directions are unknown. Then how do you determine the magnitude and direction of those forces? by drawing a, a force polygon that you can see the figure number f how do you draw the force polygon again you take a some a, a, a scale this uh, yeah so take a scale here what is scale here so much of newton the force we don't we know the already we know the external applied force is magnitude and direction right take some new 100 newton is equal to one centimeter like that that point o you call as it from the point o a draw a line Okay, which is parallel to external applied force. Draw a line which is parallel to external applied F force. Now, what is the length of the line shows? The length of the line F shows the magnitude. So we, we applied a suitable the scale, right? Yeah, we are we take a suitable scale here. Okay, we draw a line which is parallel to F along that line. The length of the line shows the magnitude. For example, 500 Newton is applied here. We have chosen the scale here. 100 Newton is equal to 1 centimeter. On the line, this how many centimeter we measured here? 5 centimeter. Okay, the arrow mark shows the direction of force you applied. See the in the space diagram, you can which direction it is, or you can also see in the free body diagram, it is downward. Now show the downward. Now OA line shows the length of the OA line shows the magnitude of external applied force the arrow mark shows direction right once you know the direction once you know this force external applied for both the magnitude and direction now we'll go for either counter clockwise or clockwise that is our convenient i will go for in counter clockwise direction after f which force will get here in the free body diagram of the link 4 f34 will get now from the point A, a draw a line which is parallel to line of action of F34. On both sides you should draw. I don't know on the left side or right side. On both sides of point A, you draw a line which is parallel to line of action of F34. That is the line of action of F34. We don't know the magnitude and also we don't know the direction. That's why we don't whether it is upward or downward, we don't know. Just simply draw a line on both sides of point A. Then after F, F4 over, F3 over, F4 over, again if you call, come in counterclockwise direction, F14 is there, right? Now F14, now it should be a, if you say the link 4 is the equilibrium means, 3 force acting on the link 4, 
it should be equilibrium means ah uh, there is no resultant force here right there is no resultant force in the when you draw the force polygon it should be a closed force polygon now from point o i draw a line which is parallel to line of action of f14 a draw a line which is parallel to line of action of f14 from point o now the line of action of f14 and the line of action of f34 the meet at a point that point will called as a point b now o a b shows the force polygon of the link number 4 now what is the a b a b shows the length of the line shows the magnitude of f34 now f34 is equal to a b that that will get in, in terms of centimeter right now that's i multiply this scale the centimeter centimeter is equal to how many newton we are assumed here 100 newton multiply 100 newton then you will get magnitude of f34 similarly measure the line of ob the length of the line ob shows what the magnitude of f14 f14 is equal to ob measure the distance multiply the scale now that gives the magnitude what about direction now we'll start from o we move towards point a here right then i want to close this right i want to close this then again our from point o to a it is downward already we know the di direction of external applied force from point a to a upward from point b to o it should be upward also so that then only it become a closed polygon now we'll get the direction of f34 and f14 transfer those direction of the force into a, a free body diagram of link 4 once you draw the free body diagram of link 4 so f14 we know the magnitude see that upward here will not drawn here okay draw here parallel to f14 then show the arrow mark like this so this is what yeah the force acted by link number 1 on link number 4 similarly uh, transfer this from the force polygon transfer this f34 on the hinge c on the hinge c here what now this is a force acting on hinge c that is f 3 and 4 right now once you draw this the force the, the direction of the the f34 f14 on the free body diagram then we go for once you know the this uh, the force of the link number 4 is over the force is acting on the link number 4 is over next you go for link what is the force acting on link 3 how do you get the force acting on link 3 now is we know that in c is shared by link 3 and 4 now we know that f 4 3 is equal to what f 3 4 because hinge c is same for the link 3 and 4 now to make it equilibrium f43 is equal to f34 but act in what direction see that opposite direction that is very important opposite direction that's why you will get arrow mark like this you know arrow mark here on this link 4 here on link c on link 3 you can see the arrow mark like this again the link 3 subject to how many forces two forces when a member is subject to only two forces how do you make it equilibrium now you have Two three, the magnitude should be same, right? F two three is equal to, yeah, four three. But act in what opposite direction? Now this is here acting towards the body. This also acts here towards the body. Now again transfer this force link three onto link two. Link two. When it comes to link two. See the link two is subjected to how many forces here? Now at the hinge B is the same hinge here. Now what is the force acting on the hinge B? That is F three two. That is equal to what? F two three. But act in what opposite direction? See the opposite direction. Similarly, now the link two is subjected to how many forces? Two forces and a torque. Now one force is F three two is acting here. Another force at the hinge A, F one two is acting here. That should be a parallel to F three two. When you because remember that you remember subject to two force hundred torque. Those two force should be same in magnitude. 
f1 2 is equal to f3 2 those two force should be same in magnitude but are parallel to each other acting in what opposite direction acting in opposite direction that produces what type of couple here that produces what type of couple that produces a counterclockwise couple that produces a counterclockwise the couple then i want to make it equilibrium then i'll go for a, a clockwise torque acting on the link two then what is how to calculate torque t is equal to torque t is nothing but is force into a perpendicular distance force into a perpendicular distance perpendicular distance now what is the force here f f1 to or f3 to take no perpendicular distance draw a line here two parallel lines draw a one parallel line 90 degree line that gives a perpendicular distance h is equal to now convert into suitable scale whatever the applied way after scale then we transfer here now that is the what this is a term what we call as h okay force into h then that oh is the torque in which direction you are applying here hello you are applying here clockwise okay this is the what we call as analysis of analysis of a four bar mechanism okay so initially if you difficult to understand once you go for solve the problem you can easily understand that how do you analyze the four bar mechanism in analysis of four bar mechanism is nothing but so analysis of four bar mechanism is nothing but you know, determine the magnitude of forces and direction of forces acting on each part of the mechanism and also determine the unknown torque right now is remember these steps first step uh, draw a space diagram according to a suitable scale second step sorry draw a space diagram for the mechanism according to suitable scale second one draw a free body diagram for each part of the mechanism third step identify a link which is subject to known in force known in force means both magnitude and direction we should know that then fourth fourth step a draw a free body diagram in order to determine the, the unknown magnitudes and direction of the forces acting on the link. And then transfer the force to the, each part of the mechanism. And sixth one, determine unknown, the torque to make equilibrium that mechanism. These are six steps you should remember, then you solve the problem. Yes, any doubt? Now once you start to do that, uh, problem as uh, so analyze the problem then you come to know that for this we should require a uh, a4 sheet y sheet and then scale eraser pencil then set square i think all of you have a set square uh, same set square you use, already used in your kinematics of missionaries okay so keep it all those things and also be ready with that and then you solve the problem okay now we'll take one example for four bar mechanism. Is any doubts? If in meantime, if you have any doubt, feel uncomfortable, please ask me the doubt. Okay. Because for one time or two time, if you see this, you're not able to understand because it's online also. If it's online also, it is offline also, it is difficult. But in online, it's some more it's difficult also there. Okay. Now I'll go for the first two problem. Problem number one. On the four, a four bar mechanism as shown in the figure. This is as shown in the figure. Calculate the required value of T2, means torque acting on link two, and various forces on links for the equilibrium of the system. Now consider the force acting on that link here, F, 2000 Newton. That's the magnitude we know that. Direction is acting towards the link four, and the link AD is given how much here? 215 mm. AB is given 200 mm. BC is given 370 mm. And DC is given 350 mm. What about CE? CE the e is nothing but on the location of forces acting here on the link 4 is at, at point E. This is not a hinge here. At point E, the external force is acting here. Now CE is how much? 100 mm. Now first, 
take the suitable scale then you draw the space diagram first if you want you can write the free body for the in the free hand sketch you draw this four bar mechanism okay then write the given data okay after that what the first step first step you draw the space diagram Yes. So mute yourself. Someone is talking. Huh? Same, sir. Yes. The so first you draw. Once you read the problem, identify the type of mechanism. It's a four-bar mechanism. Second one, draw the space diagram with the help of suitable scale. So see that all dimensions are in mm here. Link length are in millimeter. Two fifteen. 200 370 if you take one is to one scale it is is not possible to draw in a4 sheet right because a4 sheet is contain what it is a 297 mm into 118 mm i think right i'll oh, sorry 210 mm 297 mm into 210 mm a4 sheet you can't draw here then we will go for reduce the scale how do you reduce the scale i think this slide is visible as someone has to give the response yes, Yes, yes sir. sir yeah so first you yes, sir draw the space diagram by taking suitable scale you can see here now what is the scale okay one minute so what is the scale we chosen here Yeah, what is the scale we have chosen here? Is a five is to one here. Five is to one means fifteen mm is equal to ten mm. Ah, five centimeter is equal to one centimeter. Let us remember the scale. Five is to one is nothing but what? Five centimeter is equal to is equal to one centimeter. Means this is a reduced scale it here. Now again here you can see that all are converted here. All link lengths are converted here. Okay. Yeah, all link lengths are converted here. Now first you draw the space. Now first you draw a horizontal line. On the horizontal line, OD. OD is how much here? Two fifteen mm. Convert into reduced scale. You'll get four point three centimeter, forty three mm. Draw a horizontal line along the horizontal line. Measure forty-three mm or four point five centimeter. The one point will called as a hinge A. Another point will called as hinge D. This is a fixed link, right? The called as okay. Called as is a fixed link is fixed link will represent as how? What is the notation we use? One, right? Fixed link is one. After that, from the point A, see the space diagram. From point A, our hinge A. Link two is at an angle of, with respect to horizontal line. How much here? One ten degree. You can see in the previous slide. You can see in the previous slide. Yeah, we now see that with respect to horizontal line, link two is how much here? At an angle of one ten degree. Now here also. With respect to horizontal, draw a one ten degree line with the help of a protractor, right? Draw one twenty degree line. On the one twenty degree line, what is AB? AB link is almost two hundred mm, I think, right? Yeah, AB is almost two hundred mm. Convert into scale is a forty mm or four centimeter. Along one ten degree, measure four centimeter. Then you will get point B, right? Right. Then from point B again, I want. Then you get the link two. That is hinge A B will get link two will get right. From point B again, B C is how much? B C is I think three seventy mm. According to scale, you will get seventy four mm or seven four seven point four centimeter through the compass. B is a cent. Measure through the compass. Measure seven point four centimeter. B is the center. Right. I draw an arc. Draw an arc. Okay, seven point four centimeter radius from B is the center. I draw an arc of seven point four centimeter. We don't know where it comes here, right? Then again, I know that DC. DC is how much? I think three three fifty mm, right? 
DC is 350 mm. Now measure and uh, convert it to scale, you'll get 7 cm. Again, through the compass, measure, take the 7 cm or 70 mm. D is the center and draw a one more arc. Those two arc intersect, that intersect point you'll call as a C. The hinge C will get. Okay, then join. Okay, AB for D will join there. BC, join that BC line, BC hinges, then get link 3. Then join DC, that also you get link number 4. Then how do you get point E? What is the C? E? C is how much? 100 mm. Convert into suitable scale, then you'll get 20 mm or 2 cm. From point C through the again protractor, right? Sorry. Yeah, protractor through the protractor. So not protractor, compass through the compass. Then C is, C is the center. C is the radius, two, 20 mm or 2 cm. Draw an arc on the link for that cut the point on the link for that is E. From the point E, draw with respect to CD. With respect to CD, from E is the point, then draw how much here? 45 degree line. With respect to CE, CD, draw a 45 degree line. On the 45 degree line, mark here F and also show the arrow mark. That completes what? Space diagram. Right? First, draw a horizontal line. On the horizontal line, measure AD converted to the scale, the 5 is to 1 scale, that is 215 mm into 4.3 centimeter or 43 mm. Then you'll get hinge A and hinge D and draw that shows a dotted line. With respect to hinge A, a with the help of protractor, draw 140 degree or measure 140 degree and then draw a line on the 140, sorry, 110 degree. Measure 110 degree and on the 110 degree, uh, draw a line on the 120 degree line. How much AB is there? AB is how much? It is 200 mm, converted into scale 4 centimeter, measure the 4 centimeter, then join AB. Then from point B, draw an arc of what is the 370 mm, converted into scale 7.4 centimeter radius. From point D, DC is equal to 350 mm, converted into scale 7 centimeter, and draw one more arc with respect to the D is the center. The intersection point will get C, then join BC and CD. Now we'll get a, a four bar mechanism of the space diagram for four bar mechanism. Then how do you get where the force is acting here? The point E, C is almost 100 mm, converted into scale, converted into a scale. 100 mm is equal to, if I is to one here, two, 20 mm will get or two centimeter. From C to E, draw an arc or measure directly 2 cm or 20 mm. From this point, draw a 45 degree line with respect to CD. So through the protractor in order to uh, okay, keep the protractor at center here, then measure in what direction? Clockwise direction, 45 degree with respect to DE. Then on that, four, on that line, show the F is acting and towards the link 4. That completes a force. That is completes what? space diagram for for four bar mechanism then that is complete the first step space diagram second step draw the free body diagram for each link see that link number two draw a line which is parallel to link two the same length what is the link two is length is there ab is there same length you should draw here ab right on the link two what are the forces are acting here on from F1 to F3 to, we don't know the direction, you know the direction and line of action also, we don't know. Just write F3 to F1 to. And also top T2, we don't, we don't we don't know the direction also. Then link number three, write the free body diagram for link number three, that shows figure C. On the link three C, subject to only two forces, that is at hinge B, F23, at hinge C, F43. But though we don't know the magnitude and direction, but we know the line of action of these two forces because a link subject to only a two forces. Next, we'll go for draw the free body diagram for link four. The link four subject to how many forces? Three forces. From fixed hinge, it is F14. From coupler, coupler link, that is F34. And external force here, F. But we don't we don't know the magnitude and direction of F14 and F34. Then how do you calculate? By drawing a, a force polygon, that is a figure E. How do you draw the force polygon? See the scale, convenient six scale. 
so what is the scale here we choose here yes what is the scale we chosen this is a scale for force polygon this is a scale for to draw the sorry to draw only this much to draw a space diagram now take the scale here for force polygon 500 newton is equal to 1 cm right how much force is acting here 2000 newton force external force acting here 2000 newton at the but what 4 cm length now see see that now you consider link number 4 why do you consider link number 4 now we know the external force is both magnitude we know that we know direction also that's why we we'll consider link number 4 now we we'll draw the free body diagram sorry force polygon for link number 4 now from the point o a draw a line which is parallel to which is parallel to a external force is applied here which is parallel to external force applied okay draw a line from o which is parallel to an external force applied here direction along that line what we are going to measure here sorry yeah here is a force polygon sorry here is a force polygon from the okay sorry here this is a free body diagram for link four also here sorry make it correction this is also a free body diagram for link four okay so draw a line which here it is not possible to draw that's why i'll draw here draw a line is a link number four an external force applied here okay x extend that external the line of action of external applied force and what is the at, at hinge c the line hinge c is f3 for it is parallel to what is the force acting on at the hinge c here f43 now the line of action of f43 the line of action of f43 is equal to the line of action of f34 right f43 we know that it's subject to only two forces means it is parallel to link 3 only from hinge c a draw a line which is parallel to link 3 that is gives the line of action of f34 extend that line the line of action of f34 the line of action of f is that meet at a point that point is called as a point of concurrency now join that the line from point o to point d that gives a line of action of f14 then we don't know the magnitude and direction of f14 and f34 that's why we go for draw a, a force polygon that's why we go for draw a force polygon this is a force polygon how do you draw the force polygon now take the convenient scale 500 newton is equal to 1 cm for force polygon now what is the external force applied here how much magnitude here 2000 newton that is equal to 4 cm from take any point on the sheet from the point draw a line which is parallel to the line of action of external applied force right along that line measure the length of the line how much length we have measured you measured here 4 cm measure that line along that line 4 cm then you'll get point a then you'll get a point a now oa shows the length of the line shows the magnitude of external applied force right what is the arrow mark shows here downward here that's why you show here downward from the point a f over next you'll we'll measure here in counter clockwise direction we'll consider the counter clockwise direction of force what is the next force here f34 now from point a a draw a line which is parallel to f34 on both side you can draw here no problem on both side you can draw from the point a parallel to line of action of f34 but we don't know the magnitude and direction we keep it as it is leave it as it is next what the next four after f34 next force is f14 it should be a closed polygon right that's why we should draw from point o a draw a line which is parallel to which is parallel to line of action of f14 from point o the line of action of f14 the line of action of f34 the meet at a point that point you call as a b that point will call as a b now we'll get point b oa is a magnitude of external applied force then once we get point b ab measure the ab 
Now, which force is acting here? The length of the line AB shows F34. That is AB is F34 is equal to AB. How much you'll get? 4 point, sorry, 2 point. 4 centimeter and multiply the scale. What is the scale here? 1 centimeter is equal to how many newton? 500 newton. 2.4 into 500 will get 1200 newton. This is the force acting at the inch. This is a, sorry, at the inch C, right? Then measure OB. OB is how much? 1.8 centimeter. F14 is equal to OB, 1.8 centimeter. Now multiply the scale. 1 centimeter is equal to how much? 500 newton. We'll, now we'll get 400 newton we know the magnitude of the forces by drawing the force polygon next what will be the direction now we'll start from we'll draw the force polygon from o to a downward right from again i want to reach to point o from a to b upward from b to o also upward now this is the direction of f34 and f14 that has to transmit here that has to transmit here, here. Or you can see the here, free body diagram for link 4, you already transmitted here, right? F14 and F34. Okay, now we know the both magnitude and direction, we know that. So what's the next one? Yeah, remaining three, four, seven, okay, three minutes are there. Now transfer this force, F14, there is no easy figure transfer to the fixed link. F34 is equal to F43, but act in what direction here? Opposite direction, right? Now F34 is equal to F43. F34 is equal to F43. F34 acting in this direction. F43 is acting towards the body. Again, if link 3 is to only two forces, right? And you make it equilibrium. Again, those two forces are equal. F43 is equal to F23, but act in what? opposite direction similarly transfer that force at hinge b to the link 2 f2 f23 is equal to f32 right this is f23 this force is equal to f32 but act in what opposite direction again you know that the link number 2 is subdivided to what two force and a torque we know the f32 magnitude we know that and also direction also, we know that, right? Now when you say that when a body is subject to two force and a torque, those two force should be a equal in magnitude. F32 is equal to F12, but act in parallel to each other, opposite in nature. That is parallel, parallel in each other, but act in opposite in nature. Okay. Now take any point in that one, then measure with respect to with the help of protractor, draw a 90 degree line, that perpendicular distance will get, the perpendicular distance is what? H. Then this F13 and F1, F32 and F12, that produces what type of couple here? That produces a counterclockwise couple. Then I want to make it equilibrium, then you want to draw, you want to produce a torque, that torque should be a clockwise couple, right, clockwise couple. Now what is magnitude, see that, F14 is 900 Newton, F34 is equal to F43, that is equal to F23, that is equal to F32, F12, that is 1200 Newton. So torque is equal to force into perpendicular distance. Now what is the H value you get here, 4.2 centimeter you get, convert into scale. What is the scale we chosen here? Okay. So what is the scale you have chosen here? Pi is to one, means one centimeter is equal to five centimeter. Or one ten mm is equal to five, uh, 50 mm. Multiply here, we will get in millimeter, turned into meter. That is H is equal to 0 0.21 meter. Right, then total torque is equal to force into distance, 1200 into 0 0.21, that is 252 Newton meter. That produces what direction here? Clockwise direction. Now this should be, up to this you should do and you know that what are the forces acting on the each part of the mechanism and torque on the what is the torque applied on the link to to make the the four bar mechanism in equilibrium condition
yes this is the uh, analysis of four bar mechanism the 